Hello again. Well, today I'm going to present to you the shortest poem we've done so far, and probably the shortest poem we will ever do. Uh, this is a poem by Philip Appleman, titled Rendezvous, after Shiki, and I'll explain what that means in a minute. But this is the poem. Once more as I wait for you, night and icy wind melt into cold rain. That's it. So what is this? Um, this is a poem that's called a haiku. Um, what is a haiku? That can have a simple answer or a complicated answer. Let me give you the simple answer. Um, a modern American or English haiku um, is a poem in three lines. And the first line has five syllables. The second line has seven syllables. The third line has five syllables. You can kind of sound it out, right? Once more as I wait for you night and icy wind melt into cold rain. Five, seven, five. You'll notice it's a little bit different from some of the other poetry meters we've used before because it doesn't distinguish strong or weak syllables. It's not really a beat. It's actually just a straight count on the number of syllables, right? Icy is two syllables, okay? So um, the complicated answer is um, a haiku is a sort of, a modern English haiku is an imitation of an older Japanese form. Um, and for whatever reason, um, after um, some early modernist poets like Ezra Pound translated poems from Japanese to English, people have become a little fascinated by these short little poetry gems. Just three lines, a simple message. Okay, Usually a haiku poem should have a sort of a profound image or a moving moment or just something that kind of turns or, or surprises you a little bit in it. More traditional Japanese um, haiku is actually part of a longer poetry form, but it almost always included a nature image and they had a selection of words that you had to use. So um, the form has changed a lot. But if you want to write a haiku, the simplest thing is to try to write something in three lines that has an image that captures your imagination in some way. And you can try to stick to the uh, pattern of five, seven, five syllables. Um, so the title of the poem was Rendezvous, and a rendezvous is just an arranged meeting. Let's plan to meet downtown at six o'clock. I imagine that this is probably a romantic rendezvous. Um, and it says after Shiki. Um, this means that uh, the poet, Philip Appleman, was in some ways inspired to write this by the Japanese poet Shiki Masaoka. Um, it's not necessarily a translation, it's just he read a poem by that poet, wrote his own poem, and it somehow was inspired by the original. So what is the meaning of this one haiku? Well, to me, it conjures an image of a lover waiting for a lover somewhere where they've arranged to meet, standing out in the cold weather, and the weather turns to cold, icy rain, and there's a mixture of anticipation for the meeting and disappointment Maybe she won't come, maybe he won't come. And this is not the first time this person has been left to wait in the rain, wondering, will my appointment happen? Will she come? Will we meet? Captured in just a moment, okay? So I'll read it one more time, and then I'll see if uh, maybe you're inspired. You might want to write your own haiku. Here we go. Once more, as I wait for you, Night and icy wind melt into cold rain. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a pleasant day.